hello everyone my name is Samur Hassan and we are here to discuss about how we can develop a cross platform uh, application using angular um, typically when we develop uh, application with angular typically we use typescript as well as html and css we use typescript to write backend of the application and we use html to design the application uh, typically the front end of the application and we use css for styling purposes to so stylize the uh, the application uh, view and layout so uh, this will be uh, i mean uh, the 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 cross platform application development will uh, be will consist of multiple series of uh, videos that i'm going to upload uh, but today we are going to discuss about how we can use or how we can uh, get started with uh, developing the angular application and typically to deploy it on different devices like uh, mobile uh, like uh, desktop uh, like uh, on web browsers as well so typically we will learn how we can develop a single application a single piece of code uh, for the application that we can uh, deploy on uh, web how we can deploy it on mobile phones on mobile devices uh, tablets ipads etc and how we can uh, develop it for the desktop or for laptops and for Macs as well. So um, uh, the whole uh, course will consist of multiple videos that we are going to uh, do step by step. But today we are going to focus on uh, the, the required software that we need to install and the required libraries that we need to uh, install in our, for example, uh, for example, we are using, if you're developing using Mac, uh, we're going to see the set of libraries that we're going to install in Mac, and we're also going to see uh, the set of libraries. For example, if you're using Windows uh, laptop or desktop uh, computer, we're going to see how we can, uh, what are the necessary steps that we need to follow in order to install the necessary software before we begin with the actual app development. Uh, so uh, let's get on with it. I'm going to uh, show you the list of uh, steps uh, that we need to follow in order to install the set of software that we need to run in order to develop the, the cross-platform application. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Okay. So uh, as you can see, uh, these are the uh, the steps that we need to follow in order to install the 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 set of software and IDEs that we need to use in order to develop, uh, for example, cross-platform application using Angular. Um, typically, uh, we need an IDE to write uh, the 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 code. For that, actually, uh, I prefer Visual Studio Code, but you can use any IDE if you want. For example, you can use Notepad plus plus. Uh, you can use any other, uh, for example, ID which you're familiar with, uh, you can use, but typically uh, Visual Studio Code is one of the, 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 the standardized and one of the most uh, popular uh, ID uh, and editor that everybody use uh, uh, most of the times to develop the, the software applications. So we will also follow uh, Visual Studio Code, but it's up to you if you want to follow any, any other editor, you can install it and you can use it. All right, so um, uh, apart from this, we're going to need a, a laptop or a desktop uh, or a Mac, for example, to develop the, the application. So uh, these are the, the steps which I have listed down. I'm going to share it also uh, with this video if you want to go through them uh, later on. So these are around, uh, I believe, eight steps that we need to follow in order to uh, get started with developing the, the mobile applications. Okay, the first thing is we need to uh, uh, install the, the Visual Studio, okay, code, the, the editor we need, which we need to install on our, for example, laptop or desktop or on Mac. So uh, the, this document lists the steps that we need to follow for both for Mac as well as for the Windows. So you can uh, use these steps in order to uh, download the uh, the necessary software, uh, depending upon whether you want to develop the apps on uh, Mac or you want to develop it on the Windows. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover the steps which are required for the Mac. Uh, and then uh, I will, I'm going to create another video in which I'm going to explain the step that you need to follow to uh, install the necessary software on Windows. So let's get started. The first thing is we need to download the, the uh, Visual Studio code 
you can download it from this link or you can just go to the google for example you can just type here visual studio code download and you can follow this step and you can download it from here you can click here and you can choose your system whether you want to develop it on or install it on uh, google uh, on uh, windows on mac or on linux okay so once it's downloaded what you need to do is you need to just install it Just click on it, follow the steps, and then you will be good to go. All right, okay. So this is installed. You can just put it on the here uh, in your bar, just so that you can uh, use it uh, easily. Okay, these are the settings which you can choose. Okay, install gate. Uh, code with instructions. You can select these step built in terminal. Yes, uh, customize your shortcut if you want, or you can just choose. You can choose the theme you want, light theme or dark theme. So based upon your preferences, you can just select the, the right settings and just uh, complete the uh, the setup. So basically, this is the Visual Studio Code, which you can use in order to develop your application. So. Uh, uh, we are done with this step. Next step is we need to install the Node.js. So, I mean, this is the next step that we need to install. So you can, again, you can go to this link or you can go to the uh, Google Chrome. And in the Google Chrome, you can write here, uh, Node.js download. And you can download this setup. Uh, try to download the LTS version, whatever is the latest one, try to download it. Okay, download it, Mac OS installer. right and then you click on it install it agree with the terms and conditions yeah you will need to enter the password so when you're done with installing the uh, Node.js, you can check it's, whether it's installed or not just by opening the terminal and typing here npm version. This is Node Package Manager. So I'm getting a package manager version 10.9.2. It means that, that Node.js is not npm is installed. Similarly, I can check if the Node.js is installed or not. Yes, it's version 22.5.0. It means that the Node.js is installed correctly. The next step which we're going to follow is we're going to follow, uh, I mean, this is the third step which we already did. So the next step is we're going to uh, add set of commands uh, in order to use and in order to make sure that the Node.js installation is available to every, for example, users on, on, the, on the PC as well as uh, it is available to the Visual Studio Code as well, so that we can just develop the applications along with it. Uh, before now, currently we are just uh, configuring the settings for the Node.js, and then uh, we will move toward installing the Angular as well in our uh, machine. So uh, again, to to run these steps, you just need to uh, open the uh, terminal and just type in these commands. For example. Uh, I'm going to type here, I'm in the fourth step to install Angular CLI. First of all, I mean, need to do this configuration and then I, will, I can proceed towards installing the Node.js. So just, I will copy these commands. Okay, it's going to ask me a password. Remember, uh, when you're going to type here, when you, whenever you write sudo, it means that you need to run that certain command as an administrator. And uh, whenever you want to run anything on as an administrator, it's going to ask you the password. When, but when you type the password, you, you're not going to see the password. 
this is just for the security purpose uh, but whatever you will enter uh, it's going to be there so if i press enter it, it means that this it has recognized my password uh, correctly and it was correct and then it, it just executed the statement so then we will type the command npm install angular cli so install angular is installed then we'll move toward the next step. So this is the step for the Windows. So just to add the uh, the uh, authorization for using the Angular in the Windows, uh, we need to run this command in Windows uh, PowerShell. But here we, we don't need to, since we are using Mac, we don't need to follow this step. We will move toward the next step, which is to install the, open the GitHub, sorry, open the Visual Studio code and uh, enable the Angular language services. So we're going to go here, we're going to click here and we're going to write Angular language services. So we're going to install this. Last. Once it's installed, uh, we're going to install the Git. Now, Git is required in order to fetch your uh, code, for example, which, which you upload on GitHub. And it also allows you to push your code in the GitHub as well. So uh, Git is a very uh, useful uh, library that we can install in order to push our code to GitHub. GitHub is, uh, we already know, it's a, it's a very good uh, repository where we can uh, save our code, where we can share our code with the community as well, and where we can uh, you know, uh, build our portfolio as a software developer, uh, which the companies also look forward to. And you know, so uh, basically uh, whatever we, what, when we will develop the cross platform application, we're going to develop a skeleton application. Uh, that skeleton application will be used uh, to, uh, we're going to use that skeleton application in order to build all of the other application because it will contain necessary tools and it is necessary components that we need to use in, uh, in our application most of the time. So we're going to create that, uh, that uh, skeleton application. We're going to put it on GitHub. And then we're going to, every time, whenever we want to build a new application, we're going to clone that project. And then we are going to build on top of it. So uh, to install Git, you can just go on the uh, Google and type here, Git install. Download it. Install it for Mac. So these are the command that you need to install. So basically, you need to run these sort of uh, commands in order to install Git. First of all, you need to install brew, uh, homebrew. So you can say brew install git. If you have brew install. Okay, if you don't have, you can install the brew by copying this command and typing here. Enter. All right, so uh, now we are installing the uh, Git. Okay, all right, now the next step is to uh, fetch the, the skeleton project which I was talking about. So we can just uh, run this. Okay, these steps are installed done. So what we need to do is we can just uh, copy the, the skeleton project uh, and then we can uh, open it and then we can start developing the uh, applications. Uh, I'm going to follow that step uh, in the next video. Uh, and But before going towards that, I'm going to uh, go over to the, the steps which are necessary uh, for the installation. Uh, if you want to uh, develop the app on, or if you want to develop the cross-platform application on Windows. So I'm going to cover the steps which are required for the Windows users as well. So thank you very much.